Matthew chapter 17, verse 22. And while they abode in Galilee, Jesus said unto them, The Son of Man shall be betrayed into the hands of man, that's Judas, they shall kill him. So, the idea is who killed Jesus, even Jesus said it. I know he laid his life down, but if he laid his life down, why would he say, shall kill him? It's either or. And the third day he shall be raised again. There's the gospel before even the death, burial, and resurrection. Jesus prepared the disciples for the death, for the burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And when it came to the three days and three nights, the only ones that were there were the guards. What are you going to do? Oh, if I was there, oh, if you were there, you've been in the same boat. Especially, if, I mean, if the disciples would have been there, it would have been taken as a hostile event by the guards. And when he would come to the Capernaum, because they said he was up in the upper, they were up in the upper room in fear. When they were come to Capernaum, but back up in the, still in the Galilee area, they they that received tribute. Now tribute is their tribute and tax. They're both used as noun. Means money paid to the government, other than a transaction, specific goods and services. Whereas a tribute means an acknowledgement, a gratitude, respect, or admiration. A tax is money paid to the government other than transaction, trans specific goods and services. Usually a tax is imposed. Where a tribute is a payment made by one nation to another in submission. So, exhortation, a protection money. So it differs from a tax. So, they that received tribute money came to Peter. Written by the tax collector. Did you get that? Luke, the medical doctor, will write, will write things about medical. Again, tribute is not tax. It's a money payment for a nation for protection. When the children of Israel could not drive out all the Canaanites, they put them to tribute. Hey, you pay us money, we'll protect you. And said, does your master pay tribute? He said, yes. And when he was coming to the house, Jesus prevented him, saying, what thinkest thou, Simon? And Jesus is going to show his godlihood. Of whom would the kings of the earth take custom or tribute? That's exactly what Peter's been thinking about. Peter didn't need the answer. Jesus already knew the answer. Of their own children or of strangers. Now, if it would have been of their own children, it would have been a tax. If strangers, it's a tribute. So, in other words, if the United States government imposes fees on its citizens, that would be a tax. If we allowed the Mexicans and the other nations to come in this country, and in order to stay in this country, you would have to give money. That would be a tribute. Peter said to have strangers, Gentiles.
Jesus said, and then the children are free, Israel. Notwithstanding, least we should offend them. All right, so here where Jesus, you know, we don't want to offend them. He's blasted the religious works. He's called them hypocrites. John the Baptist called them vipers and, and, and snakes. Paul tells us we are to rebuke, exhort. And there's a thing where if there's been no wrongdoing, such as a tribute, don't offend them. Don't rebuke it. Don't have tea parties. Don't have tax results. Pay what you're supposed to pay. So what do you do with Bible Christians? And this is going to hit on the, on the biggest toll with the biggest weight you can ever find about the size of Mars. What do you do when the church doesn't pay taxes? That the ministries are exempt from paying taxes. There are some areas now, some cities... There's a, there's a main avenue road down here in Florida where we live. You can't put a church up there. And offend. Why would your neighbors have to pay a tax? We're on the tax, not tribute. A property tax. A income tax. Well, Florida doesn't have one. When you sit there with your nice little cushy building, your cushy vehicles, your cushy outhouses, and your cushy, uh, uh, you know, uh, your fellowship halls, your, your parking lot, and you don't pay one ounce of tax. And then you wonder why your neighbors are upset. You have offended them. If they pay property tax, why should you pay the property? Well, we got so much, it would be cost so. Maybe you got too much. Maybe the fact is that churches are not to have property. That the fact is the very foundation of the church is to meet house to house. I mean, after all, earlier Jesus paid tax. He called a tax collector, Matthew. Paul will tell you to, to, let's take Paul at his mouth. Go to Romans 13. Romans 13. I figure out what I'm doing here. Let's see what Paul has to say to the Christians. I had it written down somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Verse 7. Romans 13, 7, written to the church. Uh, this Verse 6. For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers attending continually upon the very thing. Pay for your pastors. Support your pastors. Render, render, render thereof to all their dues. Tribute to whom tribute. Do custom to whom custom. Fear to whom fear. Honor and to honor. Well, that's the pastor. That's the church ministry. All right, verse 1. Let every soul be subject to higher powers. For there is no power but of God. But powers are ordained of God. Then you got the government. How can, back to Matthew, how can a church call upon the police department if the church is not paying for the police department? How can a church ride their bus or their school uh, van, whatever, out on a nice paved road if they haven't paid for that. You're stealing. 
Now, I know some churches, they do pay taxes. Believe it or not. Notwithstanding, at least we should offend them. Now, here comes a miracle of paying tribute. Go thou to the sea, Sea of Galilee, cast in a hook. Take up the fish that first cometh up. When thou hast opened his mouth, thou shalt find a piece of money. That take, give unto them for me and for thee. Miracle performed to pay the tribute. And yet Christians are the first. They get their they, they get their letter and, and their tithes and offerings, and they run first to the IRS and deduction column. I think they're going to be quite shocked when they get the judgment seat of Christ to realize that's not God approved. A church should give to their God. Right, if it's not a tax, a tribute. A protection money. The police go by your place, make sure everything's going good. Uh, the public works, make sure that, you know, the, the roads are nice, the, the gutters are clean now. Or uh, If you need to call 911, they make sure the services are there. I mean... I would hate to have you have to call the police department, have the police come and you haven't paid for the police, then you can't say, well, you know, you go to your employer, you spend all your time at the at the water fountain and you don't do nothing. Well, so did you with the police department. And the very fact is that Jesus told Peter, by a miracle, go get the coin and pay for me and for thee. That simple.